Bless you, Lala. Right, we are having a <coughs> Gideon's little taste test. We've tucked into this one. This is all grown up eatings. So, children, chop a chop. That was you, Dex. You gonna try yeah. that one first? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lala, you cookies and cream, babe. Yeah, thank you. And Bose, you're gonna have a try the peanut butter one, won't you? Yeah. yeah. There you go, boss. Looks so good. Dex, that's mm, super go. chopped to see. What do you reckon? Good. Shove it in your face. Trying to get too much of it down your tummy. Okay. That is so good. Isn't it nice? Oh, yeah. Peanut butter one, both? Mmm. Mm, yum. It, I mean, oh. it's really hot outside, so it's going to melt pretty quickly. Can we use it all? Key lime pie one is really nice. Peanut butter ones. I've not had to try the chibble chocolate yet. I might give this one a little cheeky go. Can I have a try of the chibble chocolate? Yeah. Mmm. I think I want normal. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Anyone else's children eat cookies like this? <laughs> Anyone have a go anymore? Yeah. Mum, do you want to try some? There's only my first. Yeah, I'll try my first. I like the cookies with cream. Morning from the heart of the magic, the magic kingdom. We're heading in a bit late today. It is 20 past 12. We've chilled by the pool. I made some pancakes, typical American style, straight out of a box, add some water. Um, we tucked in some Gideon's as a mid-morning snack, which was delightful. Um, and yeah, we're heading into the magic kingdom today. Reason being, we want to try and kind of stay up, um, stay up for the fireworks later, which are at nine o'clock. Bless you, babe. So, bless you again. So yeah, late morning, chilled morning. So hopefully we survive until about nine o'clock um, when the fireworks are. And we have got a reservation at Tony's at 105. So we're going to head there because all of these guys, including mummy, are got a little bit of Italian in their blood and their veins. So they are pasta connoisseurs. So we're gonna to go to Tony's, which is just down the bottom of Main Street, I believe. And I get some lunch. See, um, I can see the castle. And we got a great view of the castle. So we eeny, meeny, miny monorailed and we didn't decide to do that. We're gonna go and get the ferry boat over because we've got a bit of time yeah. until our reservation. So we're gonna get on the boat, which is parked right up for us to walk onto now. Get a very calm and pleasant journey across the lagoon into the magic kingdom and go have a well needed day of fun right mum i was gonna say i think the last time that we got the ferry boat would have been just when we got engaged oh. on the way back in the magic kingdom like 812 years yeah. ago all those all those well, years ago so yeah ali and i got engaged in the magic kingdom in 2006 i think it was christmas 2006 i mean ali's a big disney fan so there's only one place on earth i could have done that um, we'll try and find the spot where we did it, Bubs, later on. Get a little photo. Fireworks, isn't it? At the fireworks. Um, so, yeah, let's go for a date. We're on the Admiral Joe Fowler. Let's go and enjoy some magic. Just to give an indication of how close the Polynesian is to, well, one, Ticket and Charter Station Centre, which is just there, but also to the Magic Kingdom, which is just across the lagoon. These are the kind of like beach bungalow villas that are like, I think they are the most expensive room or accommodation on Disney probably they're like three thousand dollars a night or something ridiculous they come with a pool which is like a little spun, sponge <laughs> plunge bath like thing but you can effectively watch the fireworks from a pool on your balcony with a cold one so that's bucket list
cold and smelling good. Oh, they've redone this, haven't they, since we've been in? Oh, it's so much like more open and calm. Ah, so here in the confectionery shop is where you can make your own, design your own popcorn. So you choose your flavour, combine it with like sauces and different chocolates and candies and stuff. And you create your own little popcorn sensation. Right at the back at the um, yeah, confectionery store. Nice with a sweet tooth of yeah. So we are heading into Tony's, which is at literally the front of the park. So if you come on the right hand side, it's just on the right here. Let's go check in, let them know we're here and get some food, we're starving. Right, really? Ali's gone for the, was it Sipabration? Oh, look at this. Thank you. And this is the cheese sauce for the bread. Yeah, lovely. Thank you very that much. That is the garlic toast for the table. That looks incredible. Okay, you ready, guys? So, Mum's gone with a Sipabration. So, it's just lemonade. You get a random Disney yeah. character. Mm. So, you get like, I think, one of the Fab up. Five. Who have we got? Nikki! Nikki! Right, ready? Go on, then, give it a whiff. Right in there. And then drop it in and magic happens. Give him a twizzle. It should. Is it going to dissolve before the straw melts? Oh, what's happening? And it turns your lemonade into a 50th magical celebratory beverage. Oh, nice. And it's flavoured as well, right? So it's a bit like yeah. strawberry yeah. Yum! Right, who's sucking into this garlic toast? Me! Right, Dexy Boy has gone for the meatball and spaghetti. Mummy's gone chicken parm, which was highly recommended by our server. Lala's gone for mac and cheese. Bose has got grilled chicken and roasties. Garlic bread defeated us, and I've just gone for plain old pasta. Got some sauce on the side. Bon appetit. Tony's Town Square restaurant done. Was that worth $120? Probably not. Did we mean to cancel that reservation yesterday but didn't get around to doing it? Yes. So yeah, so with Disney, if you don't cancel 24 hours in advance, um, they'll charge you like $10 per person. So if we'd have not shown up, they would charge us 50 quid. Um, but I think we kind of had plans for a slightly different day today. Uh, which is why we booked it in the first place. We booked it as like a middle of the day kind of refresher, but we had a chilled morning. So we kept it, the kids ate. Um, my plate of spaghetti cost me $22, um, is what it is. So yeah, realistically, we probably wouldn't have done that. Um, and we needed to eat quick because we made a Jungle Cruise reservation that finishes in 10 minutes. So we need to mosey on down Main Street. That castle is still magnificent. Um, most of them down Main Street, head to Jungle Cruise, which we booked at seven o'clock, and then we stacked up a couple more. So we've already got Splash and Space booked for later on this afternoon too. We were gonna do Mine Train, but the wait is 120 minutes, which is mental. Um, so yeah, Jungle Cruise first, which always seems to get busy. It is an iconic one, but also I think, thanks to Dwayne The Rock Johnson, it seems to have got a little bit busier as well. So yeah, the Jungle Cruise are up. And um, then we'll see where the day takes us after that.
Doing a good job, babes. Look at these views, ma'am. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Whoa, babes. Mountain challenge number three done, Dexy. Yeah, do you enjoy Splash? No. <laughs> nope. Because you enjoy, you enjoy Splash boats. Yeah, Lila? I like it. You loved it. That's probably the last time we're going to get to do it um, like that because they're changing it to Tiana themed. Um, you can cut along these walkways out. So yeah, we really enjoyed that. Um, no, not me. Dexy, you did, you did. Every time you go slightly uphill, Dex is like, is this the drop? Um, so in there, there's like three decoy drops before the actual drop. Um, but no, all good fun. So we're heading over to Space Mountain now to complete the mountain challenge. We're trying to find the boys and Lada if she wants one. That I swear they used to do like a mountain challenge pin or something like that. Some kind of like recognition Has for completing the mall. Lada's done it now oh no you wouldn't have done space when we came last time like, i wouldn't have thought you are probably too little um no i can't remember mate so so we are yeah heading over to space mountain to complete them all i've realized that we're like 80 percent of our chip through and i haven't actually spoken about kind of how we're using genie plus so as far as i'm aware what we did with genie plus you can't do anymore so it was initially we bought our Disney tickets before Genie Plus was a thing. We then had to change our tickets from normal 14 day tickets to magic tickets or something like that because we wanted to add on the Genie Plus service. Now you could add it on in advance for the whole of your stay for I think it was like £6.99 per person per day, which was a heck of a lot cheaper than the $15 per person per day when you get to the parks. Now. From now, this is middle of August 2022, you can't add it on before your stay. You have to do it on the day per person per day. So it, it has worked, it would work out a lot more expensive if we did it now. Also, who we got our tickets from made an absolute bosh up of the tickets. When they changed them over to the new tickets, they wouldn't send them to us. They only allowed us to pick them up at Will Call at, at Disney World. So we said, well, we can't do that because we need to reserve our park days. And to reserve our park days, we needed to have our Disney ticket kind of like ID um, numbers to link them to our Disney ex our most experienced account and then make the park reservation. So we, it was an absolute nightmare. It literally took like a month to sort this out. And then I got a bit kind of irate with it all because I was panicking. We weren't going to be, get, be able to get our, get our reservations in in time because they were booking up. And so I sent a little, I'm not so happy with the service email to the people we got our tickets from and they actually gave us the Genie Plus service for free. So again, we're very lucky. We had a bit of an annoying experience. So we are using Genie Plus service and it's technically not cost us a penny. We still would have done it anyway. You know, the intention was there just to do it, pay for it, book it all in advance and use it. Um, I would do it again, hands down the time that we've saved, the first time going into each park, the time that we've saved doing those big ticket rides has literally been hours. You know, you look at something like Slinky Dog, which is at least 75 minutes every day. Jungle Cruise was 65. Splash just then was 70, like 70. And I was just going to say, so chipping in, the, the, the time we've spent queuing for the rides that we paid for a lightning lane. We've not done any paid lightning lanes. No. Those, those queues are big and we'd be doing that for all of the rides. Yeah. For a lot of them. Yeah, and it takes a lot of time. It's a lot of time. And at least, you know, when you do it, yes, we're a party of five, so it would have been very expensive. But like I said, we've kind of made those adjustments to our plans by going indirect and things like that, um, staying in a villa, staying off site, staying in a super hotel when we're up at Universal, so that we can do things like do the Genie Plus service, stay in the port in the Royal Pacific and things like that. So yeah, Ginny Plus service. Well. Sorry. Um, the other thing that we've noticed, which is not great if you don't have Lightning Lane, is that the Lightning Lane queues are very quick. They yeah. do move very fast. Unlike they did at um, Universal Studios, I think they were more balanced. Yeah. So I think the standby lines are very 
slow because a lot of and I think that's what happened to us with the Verizon resistance. Yeah. I think the lightning lane do get priority over standby, which means they're very slow, slow yeah. of moving with the kids. I think that would have been really hard. So I do think they need to think about that, but I don't know. Not the answer is. Yeah. So we we would have done it anyway. I think we just wanted to make the most of the experience, go on the rides that the kids wanted to do. Um, do I still prefer the old version where you could book like a three fast passes in advance? I, I found that quite exciting. Um, whereas now it seems like a bit of a, a free for all, like seven o'clock in the morning is mental. Um, I'm setting my alarm every day. You know, there's some days where today, for example, I would have loved to have got up at eight o'clock, but I set my alarm for 6.55 so that I could get up, make my first lightning lane, get on Jungle Cruise, because yeah, there are some that just get booked. If I hadn't have done that, there's no way on earth we would have gotten slinky. No way we would have got on um, Gardens of the Galaxy, which is a virtual queue. No way we would have got Pete Plan's flight and things like that. So yeah, in our personal experience, I think it's been really, really worth it, the Genie Plus service. And the way that it is now has really worked for us. I thought it's been really good. We've got loads done each day. Saves so much time. So do look into it. Everyone has their own opinion, each of their own. Make sure it works for you. If you're a big family, it, it, it is costly because it's per person. Um, so yeah, look into it. Personally, I would do it hands down in a busy time. It's really made the difference between having the kids wait in line and things like that because kids are kids. They get bored easily, they get bored quickly. There's a little bit to distract them, but not so much in the ride queues. So yeah, my personal opinion, if you can afford it and if you want to sort of set that money aside for it, that's a def it's definitely been worth it. Let's get on the people mover. Spacecraft to monster labs. There's really nothing good. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity puller, I buy two of my favorite spots. For a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout out while busy. Speedway. I love a good circuit. And these for a bit of light, speedy competition. Still got a long way to go. Oh my Lila's favourite. She loved him so much she named her cat after him. Uh, Lila, have you got stitched socks on today? You got your lounge bar, you got your ears, your tongue. I'm waiting for filming. Oh, you take a picture with yours, baby. Oh, it does look so cool. Come on, Space Rangers. Definitely loving Buzz with his new face. Looking fabulous, Buzz. A couple of firsts just then. We sort of headed our way around Tomorrowland. First time I've ever done the People Mover in my many times of being here. So that was a first. That was nice and chilled. First time on Tomorrowland Speedway. I was by myself. Had a nice little five minute break. Bit of peace and quiet. Lila, Lila and Dexy rode together. Dexy was designated driver. Lila was. And he just crashed a lot. So yeah, Mummy and Boats were together. The dangerous duo, Dexter and Lila were driving together. Lila was pedaling, Dexter was steering. I was just behind trying to keep my I distance. Think, I, was, I think I would be a better pedler. I think I would be a better pedler. I would be okay. a better pedler. 
But we all had fun there, didn't we? And now we are heading to our next lightning lane, which is Big Thunder Mountain. That was a, a request from this lot. Yes, Lila? And also we also did Space Mountain. We did Space Mountain over there. Dex was not a fan. And I, when I say that, I mean not a fan. Uh, it was a horrific experience. So, yeah, we're not talking about it. We're heading over to Big Thunder Mountain. It, the weather looks... I don't know, it looks like it's going to be 400 degrees and that looks like it's going to shower any moment. So we'll see. They tend to close the outside rides if it looks like it's going to rain or thunder. So big let's get thunder. big thunder, hopefully thunder. not too much thunder. So we're making our way over there and then we might treat ourselves to a snack or two. Um, we've still got, so it's just gone six. So we've got three hours to kill before, um, before the fireworks later on. So we'll just take it at a leisurely pace. Ali wants to go on Winnie the Poos. The lightning lanes for that were like well after, well, close to sort of seven o'clock. So we get to book another one. I think now. We might get to book another one now. So we'll check it out and then maybe go on Winnie the Poos. And then that is everything in this park done. Right, I'm gonna have a wee bit of a moan here, but just a word of warning for people with children, especially little ones that are about that high. There are a lot of people that will not get out of your children's way if you're walking so be prepared to yank your children out of the way of people Bodhi's been smacked into loads of times Lila you've been boshed a few times Dexie's been smashed into so yeah just be careful like we always like hold someone's hand and we're literally pulling them pushing to navigate our way around because yeah it's a whole heap of people that would just walk in a straight line um, and smash it. I actually shouted at someone in Universal Studios um, at Arlington Adventure, sorry, because they literally smashed into boats um, when there was plenty of space for them to walk and we had no space, so had a bit of a moan. So yeah, just be careful. There's a lot of people, so just a word of warning. Um, your children may get smashed, so just be careful, look out for them. They're only tiddly. Go on, both. Are you worthy? Oh, give it a pull. Oh. Oh. It's a smile. <laughs> right, thanks right Dexie, see if you've got it in you. See if you're the true king. Pull it, put them Come on, pull it, mate. Come on, put some effort into it, bro. Oh, no. unlucky, mate. No, I can definitely. Lila. Oh. Again, no, give us a nice smile. Don't mind me just try. Wait, uh, I want to try. Hang on, no, Dex, you've had your turn, Dex. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Unlucky, guys. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Right, full update on the fireworks in a minute, but just while I'm here, little tip, whilst you're being kicked out of the Magic Kingdom, um, that bit behind me is the queue for the express monorail to Ticket Transportation Centre. We have walked up the resort monorail aisle and we are going to go to the Contemporary 
and then the ticket transportation centre and hopefully get there a lot quicker than everybody else. The queue is a tenth of the size and we're going to try and get there quicker. So that's a little tip. Go to the resort monorail. They both go to the ticket transportation centre. You just stop once so they're contemporary and you're there. Evening, we're back at the back at the villa. We're tired. Two of three of the children fell asleep um, on the car ride home. It wasn't too bad, actually. We, You saw we took the kind of monorail to the resorts and that actually probably got us back quicker to the car. So all in all, from Magic Kingdom Fireworks finishing to getting home, it's about an hour and it's probably about half an hour drive to our car villa from Magic Kingdom. Um, the kids did really well for staying up, staying up that late. I think it was because we walked past loads of families that had buggies and all the kids were asleep in a buggy. So I think top tip is don't get a buggy. I mean, it's a great idea to cart them around, but I think if we'd have put Bodie in a buggy, he would have conked out well early. Um, there is a massive frenzy. I think people were literally cotching for a space at the fireworks from like seven. So it's pretty mental. We worked our way around and there was closed off areas that we wanted to go into. They were kind of keeping walkways then they stopped keeping walkways. It was a little bit stressful, but just like stick to it, find a spot. We were sat next to a nice English family and they were saying like, yeah, if the kids want to stand in front of us and they can't see where you are, just sit. So people are friendly, but then there are people that stand in front of you with the kids on their shoulders after you've been waiting there for hours. So it's stressful, try and chill out. It was a good show, lots of Disney songs. I won't say anything about it, but lots of happy Disney moments. Um, so yeah, all in all, a really tiring, but really, really fun-filled good day. We've got two Gaston cinnamon rolls, which are mega massive and mega yummy, that we got, we got there just at eight o'clock and it was shutting, so I didn't know that they closed at that sort of time. Um, so we're lucky, we literally got, we were last in line, I think, to get those, so that was handy. Moseyed on over to the fireworks, sat down, had those. Um, so yeah, busy day. We've got Epcot tomorrow. I'm gonna to try and get Guardians of the Galaxy again, because all the kids and us want to do that. And then just have a chilled out day, I think. A morning by the pool, perhaps, and yeah, Epcot in the afternoon. So if we can get a later boarding group, that would be great. But last time I tried to do that, I couldn't get one. It timed me out. So I'm just going to get on it at seven and get whatever time we get. And then we'll head on over to Epcot and just have a bit of chill. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, this is probably one of the one of five times I think we've actually finished like a vlog or signed off. So have a good one. Um, and we'll see you in uh, Epcot tomorrow. Good night. Don't forget to smash that like button. And please subscribe to our channel. See you soon!